Hello everyone, welcome to GameTech UK and this video which is a look around the new Thrustmaster Side Stick Airbus Edition joystick. So let's get on with today's video. So this is Thrustmaster's latest joystick offering and this is based on the Airbus. So this is going to be for fans of commercial flight aircraft. So very similar to what they did with the Warthog being based on the Warthog aircraft. This joystick is based on the Airbus. So let's have a look and see what's inside the box. So out of the box, you've got the main product, which is in Airbus Blue as well. So really reinforcing the fact that this is aimed at the commercial market. You get some instructions as well. And very interestingly, we get some additional buttons. Now, the idea behind this joystick is that you can use these extra buttons to customize it or it is ambidextrous. So you can use this as a left hand user or a right hand user. Looking around the joystick, you can see we've got the usual Thrustmaster branding, but we've also got Airbus branding at the front. And like I say, it is in the Airbus blue. So if you are a fan of your commercial flight aircraft, this is going to fit into your setup perfectly. You can see here the product side by side with the T16000 and you can see the base is absolutely identical. So they're using exactly the same base. The differences come in the stick. It's more ergonomic than the T16000. I prefer this trigger as well. Like I mentioned earlier, you can change the joystick head buttons. This is done with a small Phillips screwdriver, which isn't included, but you unscrew the two screws from the left hand side and there you can customize as much as you want to. So you can have two red buttons if you wanted. You can swap the black and the red buttons over and it just means that you've got a little bit more control especially if you are a left-handed player or you just prefer to have two red buttons as opposed to the red and the black this airbus side stick also comes with full your twist control as well and if you are using for example the Thrustmaster rudder pedals there is a button at the front you can press that down and then you won't get the your control on the actual joystick if you want to use the rudder pedals now this joystick is available right now and it's $59.99 in the UK so very cost effective for a HOTUS solution. It's going to be perfect for a Microsoft Flight Sim or of course X-Plane or any commercial flight simulator. This is only one part of the solution and the most exciting part of it isn't out until July of this year and that is the throttle section. So to complete your HOTA setup, you're going to need a throttle. And as I say, in July, Thrustmaster are going to release this Quadrant Airbus Edition throttle. It looks the part. It's exactly the same color. So that's going to match perfectly. You've got the Thrustmaster and the Airbus branding as well. Twin throttle with buttons on the side. And of course, you've got the Engine 1 and Engine 2 often on the switches. And you've got a toggle for crank or ignition start as well. And of course, this is PC only. So you can reconfigure any of these buttons as you wish. But but as a, as a flight commercial setup, both of these together, it's going to look fantastic. Now, because the throttle section isn't available until July, I haven't been able to get hands on with that. And that's the bit I'm most excited about. I think it looks absolutely fantastic. And I can't wait to show you both of those items working in unison together on the flight chair. Now, I'll be setting it up, as I say, either side of the chair. But if you haven't got a dedicated flight setup and you don't really want these items either side of your keyboard and mouse, it looks like Thrustmaster are producing some desk mounts to hang off the edge of your desk either side of your chair and make you really feel Feel like you're in a flight deck of an aircraft now on the underside of this joystick and indeed the t16000 as well there are pre-drilled holes which i'm hoping will fit straight into the desk mount so as soon as i get a set of them i can't wait to show you what that looks like but I do like the way Thrustmaster are going about giving us customizable options for their joysticks. So like the eSwap controller, for example, being able to swap color and position of the joystick is a great feature. Even here, having control of two buttons to swap between captain and first officer is a great feature. And for the left hand users, being able to swap them around for comfort will be absolutely invaluable. And my only small criticism is that the base is exactly the same as the T16000. I would have liked something more individual to this Airbus edition but saying that it is a cost effective joystick it's $59.99 and I'm sure using the same base help keep that price down so I do hope you enjoyed this look around the Thrustmaster Airbus edition joystick I will be following this up with some gameplay once I get it installed on the rig and of course once I get that fantastic looking throttle set I will be showing you a full setup video but that is it everyone have a lovely day and I will see you in the next one